Don't forget to like. The topic that we are going to discuss now is Jharkhand declares drought in 17 districts. Okay, so why has Jharkhand declared drought in 17 districts? Is this the first time that Jharkhand is uh, declaring a drought or not? So all these details we must have to understand and we will be getting into details of what drought is, what are all the different types of drought that we have in India and what is the drought profile in India. Okay, all these details we will be understanding in this topic. So. Jharkhand government has declared 158 blocks in 17 districts of the state as drought affected where about 1.5 million farmers were impacted. Okay, And only 4 districts in the entire state recorded normal rainfall during the monsoon season in 2023 and 19 districts recorded less than normal rainfall. Okay, And this time the state's overall I mean, the state overall recorded 38% less rainfall than the average rainfall that it usually used to get during the monsoon seasons, okay? So, since its formation 23 years ago, because it was formed in the year 2000 by bifurcating Bihar, okay? So, since its formation in 20, uh, I mean, since its formation 23 years ago, the state has been declared drought hit 10 times, okay? So, so far... 10 times the state was declared drought hit, okay? And droughts used to occur every 3 or 4 years in the Jharkhand state, but this time the extreme weather events happened twice in a row, okay? So it happened in 2022 and it also happened in 2023. That is why it is in news now. So in 2022, out of the 260 blocks in 22 districts, 226 blocks were declared as drought hit or drought affected okay so that is why it is a concern here what else do we have to understand around 80 percentage of the state's population of the jargon's populations who live in approximately 3000 sorry 32500 villages they rely solely on farming or other related activities for their living so when people are solely rely upon I mean, when they are solely relying upon farming, then they need water. Okay, so drought is something very disastrous for them. Okay, so Jharkhand's agriculture economy is based on paddy cultivation, which is water intensive and dependent on rainfall. Okay, so this paddy cultivation is water intensive. It requires a lot of water and this agriculture economy or agricultural economy of Jharkhand is paddy cultivation based. Okay. So, the primary sources of irrigation in Jharkhand are wells, ponds and canals. And then given the state's ongoing drought condition, Jharkhand government in 2022 decided to build 1 lakh wells and 1 lakh ponds under the irrigation schemes. And in addition to that, repairing hand pumps and checking dams on war footing was also made in 2022. Okay. And then the state government has also been directed to lift ban on works under MG Narega, that is Mahat, sorry, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act of 2005. Under this, 100 day works are given, right? So, the ban on those works were lift, lifted, okay? That is because maximum irrigation arrangements can be made in rural areas through the construction and repair of ponds and water reservoirs. So, this construction of ponds and water reservoirs are done by workers who come for that 100 day work under MG Narega scheme. Okay, so that ban was lifted. So, according to the report released by the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, UNCCD, UNCCD of 1994. Okay. So, according to this convention, the frequency and duration of drought has increased alarmingly under, I mean, around the world since the turn of the century, of the 21st century, okay? And drought contributes to 15% of the total natural disasters that is there, that is happening globally, okay? So, we are talking a lot about drought, but what is drought? That we need to define, okay? So, Drought is deficient precipitation over a long period. 
so when there is less rainfall over a long period of time that is called as drought thus resulting in water shortage causing adverse impacts on human and also larger ecological scenarios and this drought occurs from erratic rainfall and its distribution but the spread and the, the intensity of drought depends on many factors so the major cause here is deficient precipitation or erratic rainfall and its distribution okay but then its spread and intensity the spread of drought and the intensity of the drought is dependent on many other factors like surface and groundwater resources that is there in that particular location agroclimatic features of a particular location crop choices that the farmers make socio economic vulnerabilities of the population who are living in that area so all these factors are also to be considered when we discuss about the effects or the intensity of drought in a location okay so what is the drought profile in india fair extreme drought is faced where severe drought is faced and where moderate drought is faced this is what we need to know so extreme drought affected areas in india are rajasthan especially not the entire rajasthan state but the areas which are west of the aravalli hills and kutch regions of the gujarat okay so the kutch region of gujarat and then the area which is the west which is to the west of the aravalli hills in the state of rajasthan they are extremely drought affected areas next is severe drought prone areas are eastern rajasthan madhya pradesh eastern parts of maharashtra interior parts of andhra pradesh and karnataka plateau northern part of tamil nadu and parts of jharkhand and interior odisha so this is where jharkhand comes so it is under the severe drought affected areas category okay and then there are moderate drought affected areas like northern parts of rajasthan haryana southern uttar pradesh parts of gujarat maharashtra except the region of konkan this is because konkan region is receiving a lot of rainfall during the southwest monsoon okay and then even here comes jharkhand and the coimbatore plateau of tamil nadu and interior karnataka these are the places where moderate drought may be faced okay or moderate drought affected areas of india so if you see this it is closely related to the rainfall pattern in india okay so wherever the rainfall is less than 70 cm or 75 cm then drought is prone to happen in those areas this is what we need to understand in a broader sense okay what else do we have to know what are all the characteristics of drought okay how do we characterize drought first thing is slow onset disaster okay drought is also a disaster just like earthquake just like tsunami and other things okay so drought is also a disaster so it is a slow onset disaster what is slow onset disaster and how is it different from the rapid onset disaster that is because of the impact that is faced by the disaster is very slow here okay so if the impact faced by the disaster is very slow then that is called as slow onset disaster drought is like that only okay we will not be facing the impact immediately but then it will take years and years for us to realize the impact okay so the impact and it impacts large area okay so the impact of drought is over a large area and then the impacts are cumulative okay which means there are multiple factors which is contributing to it and then as there are no structural damages impacts are difficult to quantify this is also an important characteristic or feature of drought because we will not be visualizing any significant structural changes thus to quantify drought itself is a difficult task next is no single indicator to assess drought so there is no single indicator or scale to assess drought this again is a problem okay again this is a characteristic of drought too okay now how are we going to classify drought that we need to know classification of drought national commission on agriculture in india classified drought into meteorological drought first classification here is meteorological drought what is meteorological drought those drought which occurs in case of rainfall deficiency and thus resulting in 
water shortage that is called as meteorological drought next is hydrological drought so when the water level in the surface and the subsurface water that is ground water resources falls below specific levels that is called as hydrological drought so again this will be an impact of this okay so that is how they are linked next is agricultural drought it is characterized by four back to back weeks of meteorological drought okay so when there is four back to back weeks of meteorological drought then that is called as agricultural drought and then comes ecological drought is when the productivity of the ecosystem fails due to shortage of water okay so when there is shortage of water because water is one important abiotic factor which decides the productivity of an ecosystem so when there is shortage of water the productivity of the ecosystem is affected and when that is happening that is called as ecological drought okay